field and as we get ready for the green flag trevor bain the control vehicle who sits on the pole takes the outside lane Inside, inside, you're clear, two wide behind you. Watch your top here. There you go. Clear by one, now half. You see them down in turn one. They're three, four wide, yeah, but they nice. search good immediately good. to get to that resin. That dark spot on the racetrack where you see right here in three and four. Look up high. That is the resin, that dark spot on the track. That's where a lot of grip is. And you've seen everybody just search for it. Lap one, uh, which is a little surprising. Sometimes it takes two or three laps before drivers look to go up there. You know, something I'm very curious to see is, uh, you know, where where the car is going to live longer. You know, if you run the bottom, you run the racing. I think that right now everyone is going to school trying to learn where the car is going to be better in the short run and also where the car is going to be able to make it last, make it live for, for longer as the runs or something. Oh, we are right here in turn And four. we got a caution. First one of the day. And it comes Riley halfway Herbst. through our opening stage, and it's Riley Herbst, who was so good here a season ago and had such a great start to the year. He's saying the brake pedal went to the floor. Make sure it's shut off here. This, you're done, but we're done. That was Tim Fito on the spotter stand. That's a hard hit, boys. A hard yeah. hit. So what's crazy about this place, isn't it? I mean, it's it's a short track in the way it feels and kind of the way you race. But, boy, you guys get up a, a lot of speed running down these straightaways. Hey, you're still going pretty quick, that's for sure. And you see Riley in there. You know, I, he's moving, which is good. It probably knocked the wind out of him. And I bummed out. Let's see what happened here. I can hear it. You'll have it. Oh, that's a big hit. So the first yellow flag of the day for Riley Herbst. It continues to be Trevor Bain out front. We're live in the desert on FS1. Pit road is closed as we are inside a two to go in this stage. And when you think about Gregson, not a great start a season ago, came on strong late, made the championship four. He is now led in 14 of the last 15 races, including what he has done today. A lot to watch as we wrap up the stage. One to go. Top left, they're racing for the win. They're racing for stage points on the bottom. And top right, you saw Justin Allgaier continuing to look for a top five position as we end the first 45-lap run. <laughs> this is so there much fun go. to watch. He's going to try to make one more run at it. I think the is going to He's going to send it down in this corner hard. Try to clear him. Oh, he's coming up. For the stage win. <laughs> Outside Gregson. Inside oh, Bay. He's going to get it. Oh, at the line. Stacey photo finish. Him. Noah Gregson. Uh, they <laughs> no, got they it. flip it. Trevor Bain gets it by <laughs> six hundredths of a second. That was tight. That was good racing. Really good. We saw good. that happen at the end of the Xfinity race last year for the win. They just saw it again for a stage. Trevor cool. Bain wins the opening stage in a photo finish. He's won a stage in both of his starts so far this year. Ooh. Contact Whoa. and there goes Gibbs. Right in front of everybody. I think they're going to Holy cow. Turn back around here, then. How do you hang on to that? And on a restart, a restart, avoid all contact. It, yeah. It, what the hell, Barry? The uh, fact that they just, no one hit him is amazing. <laughs> I mean, the whole field is there. He's running fourth. Talk to me about your tires there. He's got flats. You can hear it. And this is for second. Allgaier continues his climb. Two laps to go in our second stage. Can the seven get there? He's got left traffic to deal with on the exit here. Is he going to use him as a pick? Uh, he he might tight. get to. He, it's all happened because the 19 had to pass a car and lost momentum. The seven was able to get underneath him. And he's still working with dirty air here. This is going to be a battle Weaving to the it. end. It. And it opens the door for Trevor Bain, who's going to get aggressive. Seven inside of the 19. All of this happening a second and a half behind race leader Noah Gregson. Big slide job by Justin Algar trying to get to the top side. 19 crosses him back. 
Just now we're going to have a, a race to the end here. Robert Dean, let's, let's see who drives the harder. <laughs> Stage one goes to Noah Gregson, and second place is tight. The seven got him. I think the seven got him. Yeah. Justin Allgaier in front of Brandon Jones. Trevor Bain is fourth. Josh Berry completes the top five. Yeah. So a tough pit stop for the 18. He speeds. He goes to the back. So does the one of Sam Mayer. Second time today he's been caught speeding. And Ty Gibbs, we talked about their good pit stop. He restarts 15. Gonna go three wide. Wouldn't even check on the bottom. No, we're in line with you. Four. Four. Oh, is that high? Allgaier out of the groove, nearly hit the wall, maybe got it a little, and he's going to fall in the wrong direction. Brandon Jones to the lead in front of John Hunter Nemechek. That's a lot of spots. He's still under pressure here. Three wide on the outside. Justin Allgaier we're talking about. From the lead all the way to, what, 10 he's running right now? You know, Joey, we've been talking about this already a couple times, but that top lane is just not working on the first lap in corner one and two. Yeah, he took, you know, it's, that's the third time we've had a restart, and the leader took the top and didn't come out with the lead. Long way to go. 100 laps. But when you give that up, it's so hard to, to get it back. We'll see here if he, if he got the wall. It was close. Did he get a little help here? A little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit. A little, uh, yeah, yeah. And actually he gets he, up with the high stuff. There's dirty. Yeah, just just maybe, a kiss. Just maybe a kiss. little bit. That's yeah. right. This is going to be close. It's all over yeah. him now down into turn three. That's a lot of pressure applied. The nine able to turn underneath him just a little bit. Get door to door with momentum as well in the bottom. He's going to have probably a good, pretty good position down here to turn three. He's got him. He was very patient. He knew he had a faster car. And with 14 laps to go, Noah Gregson leading once again in Phoenix. <laughs> one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. 115 laps out front for Noah Gregson. So good to begin the year. But he's yet to capture the checkered flag. Today, he's going to dust him in the desert. Noah Gregson, the man at Phoenix. Checkered flag. Hell yeah, Noah Gregson. Sir, thank you guys. Great, great job, guys. Great execution. Thank you, pit crew. Thank you, Luke. Everyone, Johnny Morris, thank you. Great job. Very, very, very well deserved victory today. First four races in the top three. Hey, and the last three time Luke team. Lambert won a race, it was here, March 17th, with Ryan Newman in cup no way i remember that race too welcome yeah. back to victory lane wow. and the last driver to start the season with four straight top threes elliot sadler 2012 guess who his crew chief was luke lambert <laughs> guess where he won phoenix, phoenix. <laughs> wow for gregson career win number six and when you factor in what he did late last year and early this season, it has been so impressive and another stellar day for Junior Motorsports. Three of their cars inside the top ten. And we knew they'd be strong here. Junior Motorsports has always been strong at Phoenix for, for whatever reason. Uh, they've always had cars that can contend for victories. And, and today, obviously, no difference uh, uh, from that. Noah Gregson fast up there. Josh Berry, we, we commented about Al Geyer, the speed he had in his car today. Uh, they, they all had quick cars. Here's what's scary about him when you look at the upcoming schedule. Next month, we go to Richmond, we go to Martinsville. He won both those races the last time we went there. I think we're going to get a little smoke show here, I think. Oh, yeah. He's ready to go. He's warming his tires up for it. Yeah. <laughs> I love burnouts. Man. Burnouts are just cool. <laughs> they are. He's got the classic old school donut somewhere in there. In front of your team. That's the best way to do it. 
I don't think he knows where he's at either. Hey, when you lose the car, the driver inside there doesn't know where he's at either, by the way. Oh, there goes oh, the truck a piece of, tire. Piece of the tire. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a souvenir? It's not done yet. Oh, yeah. boy. There's no more now. tire left. Oh, you're good. I don't think he has a left for either. I think he's got them both. Oh, yeah, he, he got both. Huh? Sign of a good burnout. You go till something breaks. <laughs>